Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Laboratory Challenge! Where we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we can create. And my friends, today we are back with some of your amazing suggestions, and I have to say I am so proud of all of you. Do you realize that we are almost up to 200 and... 75! I had to do- I was gonna say 50, but we passed that one already. We are up to almost 275 occasions of mixing and matching these different genes. And that means 275 amazing experiments where we have mixed together animals from around the world, animals from fantasy, and even a lot of warrior cat kittens. And we still have hundreds more to go. Ah, oh, I have to say, I've put up on my, on my bulletin board this big goal of reaching 275! of adventures and then of course 300 because it's wonderful to celebrate those milestones i just wanted to say to all of you who have been here for so long you too deserve a little star by now i'm pretty sure that you guys should have moved up from intern status to maybe junior associate but uh you know we'll, we'll, we'll see how things go i definitely should work on trying to get those laboratory pens finished shouldn't i but anyway that is neither here nor there well actually it's in the future and it's extremely exciting and quite fun but um <clears throat> moving on on. Let's go ahead and break out all the petri dishes, put on your lab coats, snap on those safety goggles, and prepare for today's experiment, which is going to be none other than mixing a tiger and a dachshund. A little doxy, a tiger and a dachshund. This is going to be so cute. I love when we have the teensy tiny dogs or other animals, and we have some of the bigger creatures because you get some of the most dramatic differences in their appearance, especially because this is another one of the lovely tigers created by Pug Owned on The Sims 4 Gallery that has come back in so that it can add its genes into our little genetic pool. Uh, and this is Jeliana. So Jeliana, thank you so much for tossing your name into the previous comments of our previous videos. The random comment generator liked you a lot and picked you today. And I loved Jeliana's suggestion of mixing a bunny and a basset hound that's on the list. The list that is one day going to have at least 300 and then 400 and then 500 of these amazing adventures and hopefully give you guys something to smile about during your day. Ah, oh, and then of course we have little Lee! So Lee, I'm so glad that you enjoy playing my time at Portia, and I definitely want to go ahead, or Portia, there we go. <laughs> my time at Portia, and it is definitely on my list, as well as my time as Sand at Sandrock again. Ugh. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and be scientist. Um, and Lee, you are going to be our little dachshund donor. Look at you, so cute. A little toxin who, by the way, is quite the hunter who's a troublemaker and hairy. So I imagine that maybe he has a very independent spirit and somehow that independent spirit came across at just the right moment to Jeliana, who's also extremely stubborn and a hunter and independent. So you know what? The two of their independentness mixed together and we're probably going to have quite the pack of troublesome puppies. But we won't know until we see. So let's break out those petri dishes. Let's go ahead and start mixing and matching these genes. And let's see which one of you guys are actually going to become... Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey, it's Indercat again! <laughs> oh my goodness. We're going to see which one of you guys actually become... This cute! Oh yes! Yes! Tiger stripes! Tiger stripes! That is what I wanted! That is what I wanted! Alright, Endercat, welcome! Look at the cute little extra white bits from having the super long ears. Alright, Endercat, you are going to be... Okay, well, you can't give milk, so we'll roll again. <clears throat> you are going to be a hairy, smart, and friendly a little... Wait a minute. Doxin... Toxy? I guess I'll go with Toxy. Because, you know, like a doxy is a, a, another nickname for dachshund. Uh, and then, you know, we've got tigers. So toxies! I like that. That's actually quite cute. So we, you are going to be our very first toxy. And you suggest some really fantastic things like a caracal, a caracal, oh my gosh, which is a type of long-eared cat and a basset hound. Wow, you guys are really on the basset hounds lately. I wonder what has prompted that. Australian shepherd and wolf. I'm putting it all down on the, my wonderful little to-do list of awesomeness. And raccoon and calico. Why have I not thought about doing that? Raccoons and calico cats, that would be so much fun. All right, thank you, Endercat. I definitely think that all of those suggestions were extremely high level. And we're gonna have to see if you are going to be a very tall Toxie or a very little 
a tiger? How about their toxies if they're big tigers and they're they're tigers? <laughs> tiger is cute too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll be digers if they're smaller. All right, let's get the next Petri dish ready and pull up the next name. Hello. Oh, look at those eyes. Too bad we can't keep those, though. Oh. All right, let's add in these jeans. <gasps> and we have another one. Okay, so we don't know if it's a Toxie or a Diger yet, but we do know that this little one is going to be named Biscuit. What a cute name. I really like that one. Biscuit, you are going to be a glutton who is smart and quite vocal, which in my mind means that you might cause a little bit of trouble. And let's see. Oh, let's see. Uh, so that is from Ariula or Ariula. And you suggest a zombie dog and a corgi. Whoa. I don't know if, like, maybe, I don't think I have zombie dogs, but I could do another skeleton dog. A skeleton dog and a corgi would actually be really fun because we do a little bit of archaeology, digging up those bones and seeing what the genes are. And then a corgi, oh, come on, you guys. We need more corgi suggestions. And a lion and a fennec fox. Oh my gosh, you should see how many things I'm writing down on this list. And a rabbit and a panda. And I think we have just done a fox and a bear. So thank you so much, those are great suggestions. What the heck? See, this just goes to prove that after so long, so many of you are filled with that wonderful curiosity that I just absolutely am so excited about. And you are all going to be excellent additions to our experiments. All right, let's pull up the next name. Oops, one second, guys. There we go. And this is going to be Seek. Seek, welcome, welcome. You have pointy ears. The very first time we have some of the tiger pointy ears. You can't produce milk, so we'll roll again. But you can be a smart, aggressive glutton, AKA the creature you do not want to run into when they are hungry. <laughs> you want to get out of their way. And uh, Seek, you actually suggest some griffin and some dragon hatchlings. And yes, friends, we do indeed have some wonderful griffin, hippogriff, and dragon genes tucked away. So if you too would like to see some mythical creatures be created, all you need to do is leave a suggestion and the random comment generator might pick you. I feel like by this point, that's like the the familiar voice, like when you get in an elevator and you're like, wow, I, I can hear like the exact same message all the time. Like, please watch your step. <laughs> it's like, please leave a random comment if you would like to participate. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to welcome in the next little one. And this is actually going to be Anna. And Anna, you suggest, let me put your name in first. Jeez, sometimes we get a lot of random comments where like there's no suggestion and accompaniment with the name. But today you guys are just on fire and also continue to try to give milk. Is that a sign we should do more cow mixes? You know what? That's one of the things like, like almost nobody suggests is a cow mix. It's almost always like some sort of predator and something else. But no, I guess a cow is a predator to grass. Hmm, maybe we could get like a really aggressive cow. And then Anna, you are going to be independent, vocal, and stubborn, which means that you definitely want your own way. And you suggest a dragon and a Doberman, which I think would be quite fun. And then you also suggest a wolf and a husky. And I'm pretty sure we've done that one a few times, but come on, the cold season is coming here in the United States where I live. And um, those husky mixes are always so fluffy and cute. More than happy to do that one again. All right, let's pull up the next name and the next Petri dish. And we're gonna go ahead. Dun, 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 dun. There we go, Petri dish pulled up. Jeans mixed. Ooh, wow, you know what guys, we're getting like all the tiger like, coloration. We'll try mixing from Lee's side next time, just in case, but I have tested and tested and tested this over the like, what are we at? The 260, 70 now actually, this would be the 270th experiment we've done. I've tested it and even though it, sometimes it seems like it's just following the first parent, I promise you guys it's mixed between the two. Uh, at least last time I tested it. And this is actually going to be Maisie. And Maisie, you suggest a chinchilla and a dachshund and holy moly, I wish I could do that. Ah, darn, I just don't know if we can get those genes in our lab. However, a Newfoundland and a Greyhound also sounds like something I could definitely do. Man, if I could if I could have some sort of like chinchilla in Sims 4, 
Oh, you guys missed literal sparkly stars of excitement in my eyes about that idea. But Maisie, you're going to be our smart, vocal, independent, or loyal one. Ooh, loyal is really nice. Wow. I wonder what it would be like to have a loyal tiger on your side. Huh. All right, let me go ahead and pull up the last name. Uh, and we're going to pull up the last Petri dish and we'll just see if maybe this changes something. All right, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, we should do more Doxy mixes. They're just so cute. It did actually change something. Oh, I wonder if there is something a little different about the gene mixing. Next time we'll do a 50-50 split for sure to make sure that we're not missing out on anything. I feel like you can almost see the tiger jaw on this puppy, which is very exciting. And this one is actually named Swazo. And Swazo, you are going to be jumpy, aggressive, and hairy. Really think we should avoid messing with the puppies? you know, descended from a tiger or even from a dachshund. A tiger-sized dachshund actually sounds pretty terrifying. I will never forget the first dachshund I ever met. I've told you guys this story many a time, but it actually uh, stole my cookie. And I have never forgotten that. Minding my own business, sitting in the chair, maybe seven years old, at some of, like, one of my mom's friend's houses, bored out of my mind while they talked about scrapbooking, staring into space while my eyes crossed. The only consolation I had for being there was my cookie. And I was holding on to my cookie. You know, I was going to be here forever while the old people talked. So boring, so boring. But at least I had my cookie. And then all of a sudden, I didn't have my cookie in my hand anymore. And I looked down, and there was a tiny dachshund walking off with my cookie. And they didn't even give me another cookie. So I, that's, that's my introduction to dachshunds, and I will never forget how incredulous I was about the whole affair. But, but Swazo, you have many wonderful suggestions, like a wolf and a cocker spaniel, which sounds awesome. Oh my gosh, you've got a lot. I'm going to write down a few in the note to come back to this. And a grizzly bear and a great Pyrenees. Um, wow, now that I think about it, have we ever done enough Pyrenees, my friends? I don't think we have. And a tiger and a bear. Whew. I think we've done tiger bear, but the fun thing about the random genetics is that it's always going to be different every time. So there's no problem in doing it again. <sighs> Look at all these stripes. I am so happy that we have so many stripes, though it does make me a little suspicious that something's going on with our gene mixer. And we'll work on that. Uh, but for now, thank you very much to Jelana. Thank you very much, Tali. And we're going to grow these little ones up and we're going to see what they will be. So are we going to end up with the Toxies, which will be the big ones, or the Digers, which will be the small ones? Endercat, you're up first. <laughs> yes! It's a Diger! Oh, you're so cute! Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> look at that brow. Oh, and look at that long little snout. Look at the tail. Oh, that makes me think about all my tabby cats that I love so much. I'm, a, I'm a, like the number one cat that I fall for every time is a striped brown tabby. I just, I can't help it. They're, they're just the, the coloration that I veer towards because my beloved cat Friday was that color. And that's what I'm thinking about these daggers. They're reminding me of little tabby cats, you know, with, with a bark instead of a bite. Uh, and so there we go. Point one, score one over in Leah's category for Digers. Then we have Little Biscuit. Is Biscuit... Look, Biscuit is still little! And we still have... I have no idea how much I was gonna love that cute little stripey tail. That's my favorite part. Oh my gosh. So that's score two for the Digers. And I think Biscuit actually has like an equally narrow snout. Yeah, they both have the narrow snouts. But is this going to keep up or is Seek going to be changing the family? Nope! <laughs> Remember when we were worried that the tiger genes were being the only thing inherited this whole time? Yeah, we didn't need to worry, guys. We didn't need to worry. Look at the tail! I just want to, like, mm. ah, have you ever loved something so much you just kind of want to, like, ah, okay, keep going. All right, Anna, are you also going to be a tiger? Is this how we can create a, oh, nope! We're a Toxy! We are a Toxy! Which apparently is just a very muscular, thin-furred tiger from the looks of it. Did we end up with any of... You know, I would love to see that muzzle on a tiger, but I think we ended up mostly with the tiger jeans on Anna here, which is totally fine. So that is three Digers, one Toxy. Maisie, you're up next. Four Digers, one Toxy. I love those ears. 
She really grew into her ears. And the tail! Okay. Yeah, the tail. The tail and the tiny stripes on the feetsies. That's what's getting me this time, friends. Ah, <sighs> Swazo, what about you? Diger or Toxie? And we have another Toxie. <laughs> So this is what our tiger-sized dachshund would look like. Now we know. Now we know, friends. But all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. This time around was pretty calm. I mean, being able to say that a tiger-striped dachshund is calm is kind of an indication of just how absolutely wacky and wild these adventures get. But if you have more suggestions, do please leave them down in the comments below. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.